Hey, let's talk Solar Crown. Um, I just woke up like about an hour ago and I saw a PlayStation app notification saying that I could pre-order test drive Unlimited Solar Crown. And so I was like, the first thing that went through my mind was, oh my God, like, are you serious? Like, are you kidding me? got out of bed i was i was kind of already like getting out of bed but that like it was like taking a shot of coffee um i tell everybody that test drive unlimited solar crown is going to take over the racing game industry for for a little bit of a while I mean, who knows how long but um I feel like it's going to it's going to outshine the crew and I feel like it's going to outshine Need for Speed. I feel like it's going to outshine Forza. Um right now I'm currently playing the Crew Motorfest and to my surprise, um I thought that I would get tired of it because they don't they've they've got a lot of playlist options but they only have like two options for multiplayer so I thought multiplayer would go down the drain for me quickly um surprisingly the car show the events the new playlist and racing online with 28 people is more than enough for me so i get on the crew motor fest every single day and i i enter their car show every week i love it so um i definitely do see the potential of Solar Crown coming in and me not playing Crew Motorfest anymore and I'm gonna spread the word. Um, yeah, cause the game is coming and well, like all games, we just can't predict what is going to be a hit. And we just don't know until we see it. We c there are lots of great concepts out there on this planet and um they don't always work out or execute the way we want them to so let's just take it out first hand it looks like it is going to be 59.99 and it's releasing i can't really see that because i'm not full screen on the 12th september 12th um Man, I'm excited. I'm so excited. I I pre-order my games the month of. I don't I I'm going to just wait it out and think about it cuz I do my research. I like to analyze and see what it's going to be the best deal for me. Long story short, did that with the Crew Motor Fest. So now that we see that right there, we come over here, and we've got our um, our website. I'm already subscribed to their newsletter, and this is it. So apparently, this is all taking place in Hong Kong which I think is brilliant um we don't know what the fuck Hong Kong looks like uh, we we really don't so I see different um you know geology agriculture architecture it's gonna be fucking I love games that that put foreign people in a different atmosphere but here it is, release date trailer. I haven't watched it yet. Um, we're gonna watch it. We're gonna watch it. I was just, I was absolutely gonna watch it without even doing this recording. But I was like, fuck it. Let's watch it on this video and let's just have like a, an experience. And then you're supposed to click on this image here. <coughs> All these years, I've explored the streets of Hong Kong Island in search of fortune, reputation, and prestige. All these years, I've explored the streets of Hong Kong Island in search of wealth, fame, and style. To me, the Solar Crown represents much more than racing. It's an absolute 
lifestyle. An incarnation of elegance extends both in physical appearance and on the road. This competition is as much about what happens behind the wheel as it is outside the cars. It's not just about performing on the track. It's about mastering your image to remain visible and shine among the elite. From the cars I've earned throughout the competition. And the increasingly luxurious suites that I could claim as my reputation grew. The times I've spent challenging my rivals. And earning the respect of my teammates. I have <coughs> proved my worth. The Sharps opened their doors to me. Their representation of sophistication and prestige made me join them without hesitation. The streets expressed what I always believed. Success is synonymous with making an impression. And it was the perfect match. My life on this island has been shaped by all these automotive and luxury experiences. All this in a competition where regret can't be looked at as failure. Streets are sharps. There is only one name this island will remember. Streets, sharps, you write your own story. Test, Test Drive, Drive Unlimited, Unlimited is, is back. back. Dude, I am so freaking pissed right now. Dude, that really pissed me off. Watching that trailer. Honestly, I'm so fucking pissed off right now. Dude, that looks so good. Like, I can, I, I don't even know how this game could disappoint me. And you know, I'd like to add, I'm not a person who, who is picky. I'm not a person who goes, oh, well, it didn't make sense to me. I don't like it. I'm not that kind of person, okay? I'm, I'm more of an experience, I'm more of like, how fun was it? Did it look good? That's, that's my kind of deal, and let me tell you, that shit looked fucking good. Um, I can only imagine, like, it's just, they only need to do a handful of things to, to make the community happy. I feel like it's obvious what they do need to do, and what they represent, so, um, like, I don't, I honestly don't feel it in my heart that, that I'm not gonna, gonna be disappointed, that, or that I'm gonna be disappointed with this game. I think I'm gonna be very happy with it. Um, I did go on eBay recently, and I picked up this Test Drive Unlimited copy, and I was able to download Test Drive Unlimited 2 on the 360. <clears throat> now, the reason... I don't have it downloaded on my PC is because the the YouTuber who was doing the tutorial had some well I, I'm not gonna blame it on him but the link he had to the ISO files had been altered not only the file had a new name but the setup file for test drive unlimited was completely gone and like it took me hours to it honestly felt like at least two or three hours for me to finally just accept the fact that that it wasn't my fault because i got everything to go and like it was it was such a great shame and i kept i kept blaming myself and saying that it was too much and i'm like wait a minute like this setup file is not here like why am i blaming myself for it so I completely missed out on Project Paradise, and um, but I just would like to say that I'm I'm more than happy to play this offline. I'm gonna be really happy. Um, yeah. So that's the way it went. But man, this game is just gonna be so beautiful. <laughs> 